Hello, I'm Melior Sims. I'm the Holistic Tooth Fairy. I'm continuing the series of little videos about the meridian systems that affect your teeth. So the meridian system comes from traditional Chinese medicine and connects uh, each of your teeth to energy channels that run through your whole body and are named for particular organs in your body. But what happens if your teeth have been compromised by fillings or root canals or they're missing because of an extraction or they never grew in or the teeth have uh, been replaced by implants or dentures. So how does that affect the meridians? So meridians are placed in the inside of your cheek and the inside of your lip and they are affected by the, the touch of the tooth, so the pressure of the tooth and the movement of your tooth against the meridian as you speak, as you have facial expressions, uh, as you move your mouth around, that will stimulate or activate the meridians. So habitual expressions and ways of speaking will be a reflection of and an influence on your emotional patterns. I don't know that it's that important to figure out where things uh, originated whether it started from the emotional pattern or started from the way that you move your face or your teeth the important thing is to figure out what you can do about it when you have a tooth that has got a filling then it will still have a lot of that energy it's still a living tooth so it's still got the um, electrical impulses of the nervous system inside that tooth it's got still got dentinal flow pulsing um, fluid microscopic drops of fluid through your teeth it's still uh, got the crystalline structure across most of the surface though some of that may be compromised and of course it's putting pressure on the meridian with its very presence in your mouth so a filling doesn't have much of an effect on a meridian a root canal does though because that removes the nerve and then there's um, you lose the nervous impulses, you also lose the dentinal flow. But in most cases, if you've still got most of the enamel, the original enamel of that tooth, and it hasn't been crowned, then uh, the crystalline structure of the enamel will still be um, activating the meridian as well as the pressure of the tooth as it moves against the meridian. So uh, a root canal is definitely compromising the effect of the tooth on the meridian. If a tooth is missing then that meridian is not being stimulated at all in that same way. If it's replaced by an implant or a denture or some other kind of false tooth or if you've got a root canal tooth that's fully crowned then there's at least the interaction of the pressure of the presence of the tooth on the meridian. So that may sound like all of these kind of dental treatments are uh, really bad for your energy system, and it can be, but in fact, we are incredibly resilient. Humans are incredibly resilient, and your energy system is particularly resilient. And so there's all kinds of redundancies built in. So there's other teeth that are, are going to still be interacting with that meridian system. And the meridian system flows through your whole body. So, you know, there's all these other points on your body where the meridian system is active and is available to be interacted with. And this is why I created Energy Floss, which is a little sequence of exercises that you can practice at home. And it's like dental flossing. It is a kind of energetic hygiene technique that helps to keep your meridians in balance and activated even if your teeth are compromised or missing so it's ideal if you've had a root canal if you've got implants if you're concerned at all about the energetic impact of your dental work or your dental health on your energy system on your meridian system then energy floss is a really useful tool uh, or practice to incorporate into your daily self-care routines so you can find out more about Energy Floss by going to holistictoothfairy.com and watching the introductory video and then you can purchase it if you want. Thanks for watching and remember, you're the boss of your mouth.